Welcome back to our tour of the new AQHA website. Uh, in the first video, we showed you how to set up your account, how to associate uh, your AQHA IDs to that new account, and um, how that is all going to work. The um, next portion of this demonstration is going to be around the other big changes that we've made to how AQHA.com and member services works. We're the new introduction in this video we're going to talk about is the shopping cart and uh, your payment methods. Um, shopping cart will allow you to purchase multiple services or items from AQHA, and the payment methods will allow you to keep um, your payment methods on file with us so you don't have to fill that information in every time you come to the site. If you missed the first video in which we set up the uh, user that I'm logging in as, I encourage you to go back and uh, watch that video. It'll walk you through setting up a username and a password and getting those AQHA ID and PIN numbers associated to that user so you can do business with us as those uh, IDs and PINs. So once I get logged in, and I, I can uh, set up my payment methods in a couple of different ways. I can come to this accounts menu and manage my payment methods here. And this brings us to my AQHA wallet. I don't have any payment methods set up right now, so I can click this button and go and add a payment method. Alternatively, you could, when once you're done uh, buying something or setting up a, a transaction and added it to your shopping cart, you can add a payment method there. There'll be an opportunity to do it there. But I'm going to go ahead and set it up on the front end this way. And these are pretend credit card numbers. I'll set that to expire in the future. And the CVV or CVC, which is just uh, that number that's on the on the back of your card. Plug in our fake address. United States, Texas, and our fake zip code that will pass the validation. And what this is going to do is take this credit card information and send it over to our payment provider. They'll, they'll store it securely. We get a copy of it, and we can use it over and over with that payment provider um, whenever you come back to the site. So that card has been added to our wallet, and uh, we'll be able to reuse this card whenever we go through transactions on the site. So I'm going to head back over to Member Services and uh, demonstrate how we uh, use that shopping cart by going through a couple different things here. Um, as you'll remember in the first video, I've set up a couple different ID numbers for this login. I've got my 2718816 and 2718826. Now, if I come back here and say, I want to manage my membership, I've got a couple different uh, IDs I can work with here. I'm going to go ahead and add a membership from this ID here. Pick a general membership for a year down here and give you my birthday. And add a phone number. I must have left off a phone there. I'm sure you can send me emails. Horseback riding. I don't want to enroll in horseback riding at this point. Uh, would I like to subscribe to the journal? Sure, I'll do a year worth of the journal. Donation to the foundation. Uh, yes. And I'll say area of greatest need and $25. That'll be fine. Do I want to auto renew? Sure, auto renew my membership, my donation, and my subscription. So at the end of this membership application, I'm going to add the, these items that I just purchased into my shopping cart. So you can see that we've got three items in our shopping cart now. 
There's a little drop down there that can show you if you weren't actually on the shopping cart page. But uh, what we're going to notice here is we've got three different things that we've purchased, our membership, our donation, and our uh, journal subscription. Those add up to $90. We could check out here. But I want to point out one more thing to say change from the existing site. You can, as we know, add multiple IDs to this particular login. And so you can also purchase things across logins. This uh, cust ID that shows up here in the um, shopping cart means that I could go back to member services switch to my other user. It's going to warn me, just in case that I was in the middle of filling out that membership form. If I switched in the middle, it would start me all the way over. But I'm going to go ahead and tell it to switch me to 271-8826. And I'm going to purchase something else. I'm going to go and add some records to this, or some money to this account to be used for records. So let's uh, buy $20 worth of money to be used on records. Add that to our cart. And so you can see that now I've got four things across different services and across different customer IDs. Since I'm managing both customer IDs with this login, I can buy things for both of these. 2718826, I'm adding some records money, and the rest is that membership application that I filled out here. So if I went to go and check out, it will take me to the checkout page and give me my payment method. It defaults to the one that I said was primary, which was that card that I entered in that ends in ones. I could add a new payment method here, or I could just use this one that's my default. Or if I had multiple, I could change it to a, to a different one here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as it is and uh, check out with uh, all the items that are in this uh, shopping cart here. When that finishes, you'll get a uh, confirmation message here saying your card that ends in all ones successfully charged and a receipt was emailed to you. You should be getting that email receipt um, to the email address that you set up with your account, um, which will contain all of this information here. So in summary, you can uh, make use of a few new features in the site, one being the shopping cart that you can buy um, many different services across uh, the AQHA services and uh, across different user IDs. Also, you can store your payment methods with us, and uh, that will allow you to come back and easily purchase the next time. Um, as always, if, if you have questions, feel free to get a hold of customer service, and uh, they'll get you straightened out. And We hope you enjoy the site. Thanks.